Can I stay? I can't stop. I promise you everything. So music is my thing, Dad. It's my passion. Passion has not ever put food on anybody's table. Look at you. Entitled generation. This life was balanced. Things supposed to change. Our family will be. And now only one thing to make us strong. Trust. Hey, Papa, bad guy. Everything for boys. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shasha Wabara, and today we'll be reviewing the movie Coalition Course. It's a 2022 Nigerian movie and an amazing movie at that. It has notable actors and actresses like Daniel Etim Efion, Kelechi Udegbe, Ade Laoye, Ike Olawumi, Choma Chukuka Apota. Bimbo Manuel, um, Kalu Ikego, Kenneth Okole, Gregory Ojefio, and Nobek Young. Um, it has an amazing director. Its director is Volanle Austin Peters. Now, this collision course is an amazing story. It's an amazing movie. It's a movie that, you know, um, it's wonderful it's something i actually would actually applaud the nigerian movie industry nollywood we started with chief daddy <laughs> this year we all know how a lot of people were like what in the world is that but you know after that radio that with chief daddy and co we are having wonderful movies to see um, this later part of 2022 and it is a good thing to see i guess a lot of a lot of you know people have learned their lessons okay so like i was saying coalition course is an amazing 2022 nigerian movie that has um notable actors and actresses who brilliantly brought this movie to life now this coalition course has to do with ade laoye and uh, yeah and sorry, and Daniel Etimef Young. I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, if this big brother Ninja chick was in it. Um, it's an amazing story, okay? Um, a story that is heartfelt, um, has a little bit of suspense in it, and started in a way that was nondescript, like. I was bored on the day I was watching this movie and when it started I was just wondering what I was doing watching this movie it, it didn't have a great start yeah uh, but the actors the particular actors and actresses in this movie just made me I just you know was watching this movie from the corner of my eyes I'm like I beg it I don't want to stress myself but shall let me just I've started let me just see it through since um I still will you know review the movie so i sat back and started watching after the first after the first um 15 20 minutes the movie the story picked up now this couple um okay this guy is from a well-to-do home but he, okay he's a lawyer he studied law but decided to earn a living via his passion which is you know music and he wasn't really making much but he just wanted to show his father that he can uh, you know make money from his music and not depend on him and he also has um a girlfriend who is um, in the family way and he's trying to make ends meet and they were okay now this particular um the, on, on this particular day he got um someone hired him to come play at a club not his usual crowd but he went prior to that he had this um this very very terrible experience where he was driving at night and this a couple of guys stopped him kidnapped him beat him up you know he was so traumatized that you know he would always ha break out in sweat um having nightmares and all of that just uh, 
he couldn't get over it he he he, he had not told anyone and he, he you know he was just moving through and of course this affected his normal life he would just um sometimes just act out and be a, a little bit aggressive what he wouldn't do on the um, normal location so he had this thing this chip on his shoulder this fear this apprehension this ptsd i'll call it ptsd because he just never seemed to overcome that thing that happened to him how he was humiliated how he was you know dehumanized and he just got um, trauma he was traumatized from that experience now he was leaving the club after having a fight there with the owner of the club and the bouncers and all of that and he was with his girlfriend in the very in the in the sky he was driving and his girlfriend's um friend was at the back of the seat now what happened it was a police checkpoint and one thing led to the other and um the girlfriend said okay let her get home first um, he can be coming later because the, the the policeman apprehended him and said no they will take him to the station you know those kind of things that um policemen always do you see the nigeria the, 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 the movie portrayed what usually happens at checkpoints you know more often than not you know we, we, we kind of like take it for granted like once police policemen just stop you be like ah, uh, let's find something for them now. Find do, and do you have any small change? Just fine. And if you don't find, they'll tell you pack your car. They'll tell you show your particulars. You know all those kind of things. They will want to delay you. They will want to look for faults that will make you or make them now decide what to do with you. But that will take you to the station or you know and penalize you for you to pay more. So a lot of people because they feel maybe they don't have enough. They don't have um, uh, prerequisite papers for driving or they just want to avoid the stress and the delay they will just you know find you something in quotes give you tips or give, give you know bribe you out and policemen are used to it so once you don't do it you're now in their wahala and you will start that wahala so that, of course that was what happened that night and um what happened subsequently cannot even begin to mirror you know the the the, the, the you know it, it can be best in, better imagined okay it, it turned out to be a nightmare but there was something that i couldn't understand you know it's it's the plot it's the story but i just couldn't understand why or how you know the girlfriend who is pregnant can just leave her boyfriend there you know, there should have been a decisive decision. Just like, uh, okay, they've arrested you. Or whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let me go. To, let me, let me go. Back, let me go. Let me go and rest. Or my tummy. Or this. I couldn't understand it. If you were able to go clubbing, you should have been able to stay through the whole thing and know where your boyfriend is coming from. As a matter of fact, if by the time you got back to the house and you waited for like ten. 20 minutes he doesn't come back then you should have been apprehensive not wait till the next morning for you to go to the police station to go and look for your boyfriend where he has been arrested and all of that you know all of that did not just um, <laughs> it didn't just flow with me okay but I was still enjoying the movie. The movie touched a lot of things, especially how sometimes policemen have to work with criminals, have to work with men of um, the underworld, you know, have some kind of um, agreement for things to happen. Um, it showed it there and so many things happened. At the end of the day, Daniel Etimef Young died in a very, very careless way very annoying way something you will not understand something you, you you are not expecting which is i'm sure the way a lot of people die through no you know actual well the fault of the policeman but then it wasn't intentional it, it, you know it was murder without intent something that happened out of mistake you know most times all these policemen don't know how to handle their firearms, don't know how to disarm it, don't know how to arm it, don't know how to position the firearm so as not to cause bodily harm to themselves and um, the people around them. So that was what happened. Now, if you are watching this movie, it kind of also wanted to touch on police uh, brutality and um, so, uh, you know, 
people that have died in the course of their dealings with policemen uh, you know and also police corruption and also you know the way why also you know the social uh, problem of policemen not getting adequate pay uh, which makes them frustrated confused they do, and they begin to become um you know aggressive at the checkpoint or they don't commit to their jobs because they are worried about their families they are worried about where the next you know um money will come from to take care of their family or they are worried as well they don't want to you know commit themselves to their duty because they know uh they've seen that when even if they die in active duty the 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 police force would not take care of their family of the families that they've left behind so you know they this movie touched on so many societal issues in less than two hours which was amazing which was brilliant and the way they captured um you know this lucky target riot and protest it was amazing I particularly liked it. It was touching. It was a touching moment for me. I was emotional when I was watching the movie. It was so sad, so, so sad and brilliant at the same time, which brings me to the end of this movie review. Now, in terms of the cinematography before I leave, the cinematography, hmm, the, um, the sound was okay. Okay. The, Picture quality wasn't, I wouldn't call it excellent, but it was okay. You know, you won't be lost when you're watching it, but whether it was top bar, no, it wasn't at all. Um, it was at best, um, it was at best just a-okay, just, you know, just there. We're just there. Um, most times, the plot is good, the picture quality is bad. That's for Nollywood movies. Most times, the picture quality is so wonderful, aesthetics, everything, so wonderful, location, good, but the storyline is nonsense. You know, so uh, it's as if they're telling us, like, with Niger movies, you can never have it all. But I am so impressed with the plot and the way Bolan Le Austin uh, Peters was able to you know match all of this together to bring out the message now if the message like i said i i've spoken about the societal problems okay um touched in this movie it didn't have just one message you can you can take whatever it is you want to take from this movie and tag that as your message from it or understanding of the movie but the movie did not just have one particular message it was scattered while trying to pinpoint so many things happening at the same time well they tried they did try but um you know if you're doing po police brutality just stick to that if you're doing you know, I think they were doing police brutality because it still was just scattered. But then we understood where they were coming from. We understood what they wanted to achieve. We understood the whole language for Nigerians. For so many people who just understand it. But, you know, a lot of people I know will not want to delve deeper into, you know, because once you delve deeper into the plot, it's scattered. You know, you begin to have a lot of holes in it and you begin to say, okay, it should have been done this way and that way. But, you know, Moses, um, sorry, Bolanle Austin Peters is able to craftily and um, expertly put them all together, mesh them in this onion all in one and to give sense to what we're watching and um, understanding to it. So which brings me to the end of this movie review. I'll be rating it and 8 over 10 and um, up there you see my Korean movie review my Nigerian movie review my Chinese movie reviews and then again my movie reviews um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn off your post notification button that is the bell yes so that you'll be alerted when new videos come up okay thank you so much for doing this with me I love you bye